I've waited patiently. Thank God I didn't see any spoilers. That way me and Gabe can... Is that a... What the hell is that? Oops, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Yeah, I was just like, that way I, I don't... Me and Gabe can watch it together. And we watched it on video call since, uh... Since everything's closing due to COVID, uh... I'm guessing we can't, like, hang out physically or something. So, yeah, we've done a video call. But, yeah. Oh, I thought I had, like, something in my tongue since I was eating cookies. But, yeah, um... Now, after finishing episode one... I'm desperate for it to watch episode two right now. And I'm doing the best I can to not watch it. Because I have to watch it with Gabe. If I watched it without him... I'd be a total dirtbag to him. Like how I was when I ditched his birthday this year. Which makes... Which... Uh, now kind of makes this year even worse. Because I ditched his birthday. For, name, for many, many reasons, so... I will explain about that in future... In future videos. Hello, everyone! Welcome back to another video. Now, of course, uh... So, yeah, um... I need to catch up with two reviews that involve what I'm going to be talking about. 13 Reasons Why. I need to do my Season 2 review and my Season 3. Good God. I am terrible with reviews. I've got to catch up my reviews. You know what? I'm Probably every Saturday, I'm going to catch up all my reviews till I've caught up. And then, whenever I watch a movie or see, finish watching a sh season or show, entire series, with all seasons, uh, I will make a review right away. Unless my phone's under curfew and then, you know, yeah. I just need to write it down. I'm still trying to get used to all this crap. All this YouTube crap. And right now it is terrifying. I am home alone. And, um, yeah. But anyway, so yeah. Uh, me and my friend Gabe uh, just watched Season 4, Episode 1 of 13 Reasons Why together on video call. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Pretty fun. One thing that we did, Gabe, who's watching this video, of course. But yeah, he will be... So yeah, this is my thoughts, kind of like my season four episode one review, and he will be doing a video. I I I, you know, I was hoping we would do a video together on VideoCon. I would probably record this on my Chromebook, but um, right now he's eating, and he'll make a video like around seven or eight. But I, if you want to check out his video on his thoughts, I'll put his. I'll put. He has a YouTube channel, which I will put in the description below, and do give him some love. He recently recently started doing YouTube. He only has three or two subscribers, sadly. And I only have 800. So please do give him some love. And you can thank me later, Gabe, once you get more subs. But still, let's talk about episode f episode one of season four. Not episode four. <laughs> Good God, I'm... I'm already... Okay, okay, so yeah, um... Let's recap what happened. Uh, Bryce was suddenly murdered. Who was the murderer? I was betting on Monte for many reasons, but turns out murder was Alex, <laughs> which I never thought he'd commit murder. And the f it is hot in here, so I'm going to close the window and turn on the fan. Alright, back on topic. So yeah, uh, of course, Ani frames Monty for Bryce's murder, and somehow... For no, no explanation, Monty is murdered. Just killed. In prison. How did that happen? And we start off with the episode that he's alive, but nope, it was just a freaking dream. But yeah, uh, throughout, the, throughout this entire episode, um, so yeah, I guess this entire season we're gonna have Clay narrating. Since in season one, we had, uh, Hannah narrating, then season two, all the all the characters that were on the tapes narrating, then season three, Ani narrating, then then yeah, I guess that's why I guess we're gonna be having Clay narrating through this in, through this entire season. Except uh, so yeah, through season one and to season one to three, we've had flashbacks from present to past, and I don't think that I don't think that's gonna be happening in this season. Unless it will, just around episode 2, because I don't think we had, like... So, we there is a funeral scene! 
and then it says six months earlier, so this could mean one of the characters could have died. Okay, shut up, notification. Okay, this okay. Sorry, that was my that was my notification. I am so terrible with these YouTube videos. One of the characters could have died. No, no spoilers. No spoilers, please. So yeah, I am worried. I we were thinking it was probably Bryce or Monty, but who knows? But yeah, uh, throughout this entire episode, Clay's just saying to himself that he's fine, but really, he is so not fine. He's losing his shiza because he's been... He went through a lot. With Hannah, Bryce, just... Yeah, you get what I mean. You've seen this show. Plus, I desperately want to finish this because I've gotten to miss... I got into this mess somehow, and I'm going to finish watching this show. But yeah, of course we're going to be watching episode 2 tomorrow together on video call. And I don't know how we're going to do that. Because of course I have some major homework to catch up. And I won't be, I probably won't be making any videos through Thanksgiving break. Because I have serious amount of homework to catch up. I'm really nice. Anyway, so yeah. Um, let's talk. So yeah, now we have this, um, Winston. I think his name is Winston. Who cares about Monty? Because of course there was a. I'm not gonna bring that up. I don't. I'm not gonna bring that up. But still, uh, he's basically going to Liberty High to investigate some of the characters because of course he wants to know who really killed Bright. I guess he wants to find out. I guess he. Okay, so basically he's trying to prove. Monty's innocence, even though he's sadly dead, with no explanation. But still, yeah, he is trying to investigate. So yeah, that's why he's at Liberty High. I might pick. Nope, not picking. I'm not picking a zit or pimple. Cr oh, why is my? I keep that close always. I'm terrified of the dark. But still, uh, yeah. Then there's the scene where you no. Know, where okay, so Clay is just so yeah. Uh, we now have another problem, besides Winston trying to get proof. The guns were found. Of course, someone reported about the guns, and yeah, don't know what's gonna happen. My guess, someone is gonna get arrested because of the guns. I mean, what was his name again? Tyler. Yeah, Tyler did almost become a school shooter. For many reasons, and one of them was because of Monty. I'm not bringing it up because I don't think it's allowed. I don't think I'm allowed to talk about it on YouTube. Plus, I don't want to talk about it. I hate. I don't want to talk about that word. Plus, I kind of want to just redo my review on season one because I probably was talking crap. I don't know what was I talking about. I never. I haven't even watched my review for season one, which I should, because uh, I want to make sure I said some things that are correct and I didn't say anything that came out wrong. I'm worried. I don't know. It's just. I, mean, I shouldn't even be watching this. I should be watching with a parent, unless I sh mostly shouldn't be watching this. But then again, uh, yeah. But that doesn't matter. Uh, this is the final. This is the final season. So yeah, um, uh, wouldn't matter if I was watching it with someone, cause uh, when, with an adult, I mean, cause I'm gonna be done watching this either probably the first week, like the la last week of November. Slash first week of December. But still. There's a scene where. Oh. Oh. So yeah. Um. Get, so yeah. While we're watching this episode. Uh. There's a scene where. Uh, Ani and. Uh. Jessica are just chatting. And. Gabe. Literally. Notice. Something in that. In that scene happening. In Jessica's room. Cause. Apparently. Jessica. Has a freaking poster. Of Black Panther. No joke. He, Gabe noticed a Black Panther poster in Jessica's room. And I'm like, wait, 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 what do you saw, Gabe? And then I get shocked. And then we're just like, oh my god, Black Panther, Wakanda forever. And he said, rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman, which of course, rest in peace. Wakanda forever still. Everyone do this Wakanda thing. If you have like a uh, emoji that can do this or something. Still, Wakanda forever in the comments down below. Respect Chadwick Boseman and Black Panther. But kind of forever. But still, still yeah, uh, that was a fun Easter egg we just found. Right, Gabe found! Gabe noticed that. I didn't. I don't have any credit. Give credit to Gabe. He noticed it. 
But still, so there's a scene where, um, Clay is just, ends up pissed about something that, take those jerseys off, you're honoring a freaking limb rat. I'm uncomfortable saying that word, now that I, have now, now that I know what it means. <laughs> God, I really don't want to think about that word. But still, yeah, then, uh, then we get into a fight, because Clay... Basically, starts punching. And they start beating the crap out of each other. And they're just like, we are end up. I I I sort of end up cussing a little bit, but X minus the f bomb and other cuss words. Like, but yeah, some of these episodes involved scenes where um, uh, Clay is getting hallucinations of Monty because I guess now he Monty is haunting Clay a lot and along with. So yeah, there's a scene where Jessica. Burns Bryce's last words, and that was probably a big mistake, because she just saw Bryce Walker standing there, just like, and then she's just, big mistake, Jessica. Plus, I, I was kind of not happy about that, because I don't think he, she should have burned uh, Bryce's last words, because that, 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 just, I, that I just wasn't on board on. Yeah, sure, he may have been a douche, he may have done terrible things, but still, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't burn his last words. You know, he's a freaking... I'm not gonna say that word! I'm not gonna say the R word! I do not want to say the R word. I really don't. Yeah, I really don't. But still, back to the... So yeah, he's... So, so yeah, then around the last episode, Clay sees Bryce and Monty just walking. How, how, how do you know it's Bryce and Monty? It's obvious. Bryce was wearing a purple... Purple, what was it? Was it a jacket? Like a one of those high school jockey jackets? I forgot what the word was. I can't, I, my mind is just all over the dang place. And same goes for Monty, but blue, liberty. So yeah, and then the episode ends with Clay saying, Yeah, I am so not fine. Yeah, no Shiza, Sherlock! You're losing your freaking Shiza! Shiza means the S-bomb and... Russian or German. I don't know. It's probably German. I don't speak Russian or German. <laughs> but still, so yeah, um, still what I liked about this episode was because of the Black Panther poster that I did like about, because, of course, what kind of forever still I didn't like about, I did like, I, I, yeah, so yeah, thank you, Gabe, for noticing that. I thought I would have noticed if I weren't watching this, but what, but still, I'm glad that that I'm glad that me and Gabe are watching this together. I forgot. I I I kind of forgot how Gabe ended up watching this show, cause somehow me and Gabe ended up watching season four together. Cause he was watching the show. I forgot how, but that doesn't matter. Cause what does matter is that me and Gabe are watching this together. When originally I was we were gonna. So yeah. So this was this was supposed to happen, but thanks to. Recent events going on with the world. COVID's still getting worse. Yeah. So yeah, we planned this thing going on. So we planned on watching two shows together on Netflix. One was season four of 13 Reasons Why and season three of Sword Art Online, which he found out came out on Netflix like last month. And I'm just like, how did you not know this game? What, how, where have you been? Living under a rock? So yeah, originally uh, we were going to do reactions. Of me and him watching season four together, but uh, that didn't work out because one reason COVID, two, I don't know if my camera can record like hours long. And all, each episode is like 58, 7, 9, an hour minutes long. So yeah, but uh, the SAO episode, sort of online episodes, those are only 23. Plus, we're gonna be, me and Gabe are gonna be watching season three together in his channel. We were gonna watch season four together. Reactions. So okay. So um, we were gonna, uh, I was gonna. We were gonna do season four reactions of Thirteen Reasons Why in this channel, and reactions for season three of Sword Art Online in his channel. So yeah, what's mostly gonna happen is that we're gonna watch Sword Art Online season three together. You know, getting our reactions in his channel, which I will put in the description below. He will post a video of him and his thoughts on this episode, and uh. Yeah, by the time I'm... He's probably making the video right now. He said he'll make it around 7 or 8, but still, he will... So, yeah, I will put the description... Put the, I'll put the channel in the link in the description below. But still. So, yeah, that was episode 1 of season 4. The final season. 
uh, which I'm terrified to continue watching because um, I am so not prepared for this because I was hoping my dad would have watched this before so he would give me warnings like, be warned, this scene is going to break your heart. But sadly, he did not see, he has not seen season four. So, I'm technically screwed. I would say, he it, since he's quarantining himself in his room, since he's got COVID, sadly, I, 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 I say right now is a good time to maybe watch this four, but I don't want to say that because he's quarantining himself because he's got COVID. He can't hang, he can't spend time with Dee and Rylan. And also, not only comment below, what kind of forever do, pray to God for my dad. He's got COVID, and I'm still terrified. Of course, I did make a video about me talking about it. I still think I should have redone that video, but I just didn't want to. I was just busy, and just, I just, you know, let's just not talk about that. I just don't want to worry myself more, but still, please do. Um, everyone in the comments, just... Pray to my, just pray to God for my brother, Rylan, and dad, for my dad, too. I just hope they will all be okay, and I do hope my brother will come home soon. Uninfected, not infected, you know, just hopefully not bringing COVID with him, because if he does, if he does come home with COVID, then yeah, we're all, we're all freaking screwed. But still, so yeah, if you have seen episode 1 of season 4, let me know what your thoughts in the comments down below. But no spoilers for other episodes. Because for the love of God, please don't tell me any spoilers. I do not want to hear any spoilers or else I... Yeah, that it's kind of, that's just... Also, I heard a rumor that next episode for Mandalorian is going to be titled The Jedi, which... Oh, we're getting, we're getting Ahsoka. So, starting this Friday, I'm going to avoid going to YouTube because, of course, every time I wake up in the morning, there are videos of major spoilers. How ka? Oh, thumbnail and title. So, yeah, first thing I'm going to do this Friday, get up in the morning, get my camera ready, record my reactions, then upload them to YouTube. Because that way I won't have a problem going to YouTube because YouTube ain't safe for me. Now that Mandal's Mandalorian season two is back, cause um, you know, YouTube can r really ruin shows and movies for you by uploading spoilers. But yeah, once I have watched the new episode, I shouldn't have a problem going to YouTube, cause I'll be heading there, uploading the videos, and then I'll see a video saying something about Ahsoka Tano meets Mandalorian and Baby Yoda. But I won't have a problem with that, cause I'm like, oh, I already know, I already seen that, cause I literally just watched the episode just now. So yeah. But still, no spoilers for the rest of season four. But yeah, uh, so again, Wakanda Forever. Pray to God for my brothers, Dee and Rylan, and my dad. And let me know what your thoughts about season one. Season four, episode one, for 13 Reasons Why. But uh, if you have already seen the whole series, do you warn me without saying any spoilers. Because I'm so not prepared. After watching that season four trailer, yeah, I, I was... Definitely, I was definitely just saying this to myself. I'm not prepared for season four. I'm so screwed because there, I know for a fact something in this season is gonna break my damn heart. But anyways, so yeah, that's my review. Uh, please do give this video a big thumbs up. Like I said, comment below for what kind of forever. Pray to God for my brother Rylan and D, my brothers. Rylan and D, and for my dad too, and let me know about your thoughts for season 4 episode 1, and if you're new, please consider subscribing, tell me in the kitchen about the number of this video, and please do give some love to my friend Gabe, he's got no subscribers, he only has like 2 or 3, his channel will be in the link in the description below, so please do give him some love, and you'll, yeah, you're, you can thank me later Gabe, because I know for a fact he's watching this video right now, but yeah, he will be talking about his thoughts, review, on episode 1 of season 4 in this channel, which I will put in the description below. In the description below, I will put the link to his channel. But yeah, uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye! And stay tuned, because of course, once we, once me and Gabe are done watching episode 2 of season 4, we're, I'm going to do the same thing again. Do my review for episode 2 of season 4. So yeah, there's that. Also, update on my <laughs> Halloween vlog. I'm still editing it. It's been taking me, who knows how much, how long it's been taking me. I'm, and possibly it might be uploaded. 
on Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> Halloween video on Thanksgiving. Good lord, I really need to get this YouTube thing handled, because um, I'm still a new YouTuber. It's been a while since I've done YouTube videos. I know 50% of YouTube and other YouTubers. They know 100 since I... Of course, they've done YouTube for, like, who knows how long. But, of course, I need to learn some editing, copyright, license for music, something, stuff. But, yeah, um... Yeah, I just want to let you know about my Halloween video. But still, uh, see you guys in the next video. Peace out!